So as seen right here, um, <clears throat> we have the caliper sliding pin boot put in. Um, I'd say it's pretty uniform around. Um, and how I did this is first you find a carpet, carpeted area. That way you don't scuff the coating on the caliper bracket. Um, and next what you want to do is find um, a decently sized socket that would actually fit over the boot but actually not on the rubber part, um, more so the, the metal ring area. Um, so what you would do is actually place it over like that and then the basically the method is to just hammer it in um, with a couple of light taps because it doesn't take much force to actually socket it in. Um, and then when you see the metal mate with the uh, caliper's metal, um, that's how you know you're finished. And you should have a uniform um, gap around. Um, it's not really a gap. It's just, um, you know, how far it can actually go. So I'm going to try my best to actually film putting this in. Um, so we'll see where it goes. <clears throat> You can actually see uh, it go in a little bit, but you know, just make sure that it's uniform around. That way, you don't get it going in sideways and causing future issues with that. I'd say that's pretty uniform around. Sorry for the way, you could probably just skip ahead. <laughs> just tap it in. You should feel it go in slightly. Um, let's see where the progress is. So, we're about halfway in. Um, but it can definitely go in a little bit more. So as you can see, we're almost in all the way. There's a, a tiny, tiny gap. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's in. Alright, so... <clears throat> the purpose of these guys is to actually keep contaminants away from the... Uh, sliding guides um, crevice in here that way you know gunk doesn't get in there and clog up these sliding pins and so that's why it's very important to you know have a uniform gap around or even a minimal gap as possible around that way water doesn't get in there um, so after you're done um, I would definitely check for you know rips and tears but it seems like mine are fine um, I mean that's how I know this method works well um, checking this side, everything seems good. Um, so, yeah, I'd say this method is pretty uh, handy. Um, I've actually learned this from online forums, um, Club Lexus. Um, this is actually a Lexus GS400 caliper bracket. Um, yeah, my pin C, so I have to get a new setup. Um, but yeah, this is pretty easy, and anyone can really do it. So, um, yeah, just, you know, leave a comment, you know, if you have a question. Thank you.